Aber ich bin immer noch voll. Das klappt jedenfalls. Hey guys! So have you heard about the Korg NTS-1? No? Well now you have! It is this thing in my hand and oh my god, I love it! So about one and a half weeks ago, I had my birthday. Actually, maybe even two weeks when this video comes out. Man, I know that I'm so slow with those videos. And as a birthday present, my parents gave me next to some clothing, which was actually pretty nice, uh, the Cork NTS-1, which I really love. But, what is it genau? Is a Cork NTS-1? Well, it is a digital synthesizer. Meaning it can make a lot of different sounds. And oh boy does it do sounds! So you can do anything from dreamy, very nice, mellow sounds. To just straight up laser noises. But, Christopher Harris, what if I don't like making sounds? What if I just want to make every song sound nostalgic? Well, this thing has got you covered yet again, because it also features effects, namely modulation, delay and reverb. Everything you need to more or less make every soundtrack very, very nostalgic, even though you haven't played the game. I mean, in the end, it ain't much, but I mean, it is everything and more, and it just looks like a tin can. And I mean, portable it is. It runs via USB, meaning you just need to plug in a power bank and you're good to go. You can even uh, pl uh, plug in a headphone or use the uh, speaker, which, as you sh already heard, isn't the greatest. I mean, it is enough for, like, simple sound stuff. But I wouldn't use it for much more. But what does it offer? And yes, a week has passed between the last shot and this shot. But it has six oscillators, so it offers saw, triangle, square, BPM, or variable uh, phase modulation, which is just a fancy thing from Korg that makes everything sound actually pretty cool. The sounds coming out of this oscillator is actually very, very nice. And then the user oscillator, the one that I'm very, very uh, excited about, because as the name suggests, you can do your own oscillator by just coding a little bit of stuff. And if you haven't known me, well, I code a little bit and I love coding. And I mean, it has an STK. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video where I, where I make an oscillator for the NTS-1. Maybe. Just write it down in the comments if you want to see that. It also features an LFO, but I mean, this is basically what every synthesizer offers. So let's go on to the filters. It has six filters, seven if you also include the option of turning the filter completely off. And those are basically just standard filters. You have your two high pass, your two bypass, and your two low pass filters. So basically it's just an equalizer where you just have one band at a time. Of course it has again a special option, in this case sweeping the entire frequency spectrum. Nothing special. But what is special are the envelopes, because there we have a lot of envelopes. So we have ADSR, we have ADR, we have AR, we have AR loop, and then we have open. What does anything that I just said mean? 
Well, ADSR is what basically every synthesizer has. It is attack, decay, sustain, and release. This is basically the four different things a sound has. It has an attack time, so how long it takes to fade in. It has a decay time, how long it takes to uh, go to the sustain part, which is when you ho hold down the note. And the release part is when you just stop playing the note, when you just let go of the note. Then we have ADR, which is just like ADSR, just simplified. Then we have AR, which is further simplified. We have AR loop, which repeats the notes every time. This is actually a pretty cool effect. You will see it in a second. And then we have just open. And last but not least, the effects, but I've already told you about them earlier. The only thing I want to add uh, onto that is that the modulation part has either a chorus, an ensemble, a phaser or a flank. So that's basically the modulation part of the, uh, those effects. But this is basically everything that this thing has. And I mean, again, it is just in a tuner can. And it just costs like 100 euro, so... It is just a very good value, and I mean, it's pretty good for a beginner like me. So, I mean, this is basically the review over, so why not make a beat with it? Yeah.